about, we're about to get started for today's event of competition. So before we start the official part of the program, uh, I'd like you to cheer up a little bit for all the students' teams who will be participating today. So we have a number of schools. Uh, there are people from Alfred College here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. University of Arkansas is a rock. University. Hey guys, good. Uh, Case Western Reserve University, yeah. University of Central Florida, Charleston Southern University, right? University of Connecticut, yes, we have our kids in the room. Um, University of Delaware, Delaware Technical Community College, Drexel, Florida State, Indiana. University of Memphis, New Hampshire, New Haven, Northeastern, Nyack, yeah, you're there too, Penn State University, Rockford, that's what I told you about, um, Rensselaer, Rochester, See, it's quite a long list, right? University of South Carolina, <laughs> Syracuse, <laughs> University of Tulsa, <laughs> Coast Guard Academy, <laughs> United States Air Force Academy, <laughs> University of Washington, <laughs> yeah. Worcester Polytechnic Institute, WPI, and finally, Yale. So we will kick off the competition in a few minutes. We'll be sure to catch up since we're starting like 10 minutes late. But now I'd like to turn it over to the Provost, Munchoy, uh, to get our program started. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And uh, I was very happy to hear that Syracuse is here. Still a great university, but no longer a rival for us in basketball, so keep that in mind. But let me, uh, let me first share that this is a truly exciting event for all of us, and it's really wonderful to see so many students, faculty, and industry partners. And I know that without the support of their faculty advisors, these students would not have been able to get the funding, the mentorship, or a driver to be able to come here to university. So I want to ask the advisors to stand and be recognized. Advisors. <laughs> also, the industry sponsors who are here, who believe in the future of cybersecurity innovation really comes through, through academic institution partnership is so critical. So industry advisors, we know you're here. Many of you are wearing suits, so please stand and be recognized. <laughs> I see industry sponsors here at Comcast. Come on up, stand and be recognized. So the word from our dean, Kazim Kazarunian, and Ramesh Separat, as well as Chuck Hudson from Comcast, have been instrumentally critical to the success of this program. I also want to recognize the new leaders of our cybersecurity activities at the university, and that's uh, Laurent Michel, who you heard from earlier, and John Chandy. Their hard work in organizing this event was really instrumental, and thank you very much for all of your hard work. Now, when we look at the lineup of speakers today really is a who's who in cybersecurity from the best universities, whether it's from Charleston Southern to Radford to Syracuse, and also the top industry and federal agencies. And I'm so happy that this activity has grown significantly, significantly even during the past year. So this year, we have 365 participants up from 290 last year. There are 31 universities that are represented and 23 industry partners. The overall theme for CyberSeat 2015 is emerging cybersecurity trends in the cloud. 
And our goal together is to develop solutions that are dynamic, that can address the evolving threats that we all face, whether it's through social media or attacks at universities or federal agencies. Because of the interconnectedness, we are all, we are all part of an ecosystem that has to come up with effective solutions. So I ask all of you to put your heart and minds into the competition today and use that as a foundation for the important things that we need to solve so that we make our country, economy, and our social welfare a central theme for all of us to consider. So have a great day, and we look forward to awarding many of the award winners at the end of Friday. And I do have one special, one special award for the top team. It's gonna be a signed basketball from the University of Connecticut. But, I didn't say who's gonna sign it though. Uh, but, the only thing you can't do is auction it off. If I see that on eBay, I'm gonna shut down that website. So, anyways, have a great time, and it's now my pleasure to turn it over to our outstanding Dean of Engineering, Kazem Kazarudian. Good morning, my warmest welcome to all of you to this beautiful fall day, fall New England day. Um, and welcome back to our second, cy second cyber seed after the very successful cyber seed that we had last year. I also want to offer my sincere appreciations to Provost Troy, who has been singularly supportive of many of the initiatives that we have had with the School of Engineering between the School of Engineering and Industry, and in particular, those that we have had with, uh, on cyber security. I am delighted. I'm, I cannot um, mention enough and thank enough Comcast and Comcast colleagues for their trust and their engagement with the University of Connecticut. Now, yesterday I was reflecting on our two to three years of partnership on cybersecurity, and it is it has been very impressive what we have achieved together. Now, it is well understood that um, defending the world's networks and digital assets from cyber crime is a very complex task, one that requires large-scale industrial implementations. However, I believe that the academic institutions, the universities, can be an important, are an important and a key contributor in, in this process. And one of the benefits of discussing topics uh, related to cybersecurity in a university environment is that these institutions are capable of facilitating a broad discussion among various disciplines that relate to this. One that uh, does not only include computer science, but also includes international relations, law, economics, business, politics, psychology, and many other important areas. Indeed, what one I one issue that I have repeatedly heard over the last few years in this partnership is that there is a lot of interest in discussing the interaction and intersection of technology with law in, on, on cybersecurity. Interaction and intersection of technology with psychology, with social media, with, with um, um, actually international law, laws and how country agnostic internet um, is interpreted by different laws from different countries. Um, also through our partnership with Comcast, I have seen how the universities can play an important role in conducting much needed research and development of new technologies, standards, frameworks, and as well as creating important and new knowledge for a robust interdisciplinary solution that, that's needed in cybersecurity. But perhaps the most important role that the universities can play and do play, and that's apparent by looking at the audience around the room, is our societal function in 
the key role of educating the leaders of future at a scale in cybersecurity. And for that, I think universities are an important key player. However, the partnership with Comcast has, has placed us in a unique position to be able to address this particular um, aspect of um, our role. Um, again, the success that we have had over the past three years has not been accidental. Provost Choi mentioned um, Ramesh, Dr. Ramesh Separat, who has been singularly instrumental in, in getting this partnership initiated and moving forward. And I also want to join Provost Choi in acknowledging a number of other uh, key individuals from Comcast, Chuck Hudson, Jim Farney, and from UConn, um, Professor John Chandy, Professor Ron Mitchell. They have their tireless work, their hard work, and their innovation and creativity over the past three years. Have, have made this a very unique and successful partnership. One that is a, an envy of um, the country. So with that, I want to pass the microphone to our provost again to, to introduce our next speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kathy, for those, uh, for those inspirational words. It's now my great pleasure to introduce uh, Senator Hartley. Connecticut is very fortunate in that we have many dedicated state leaders who believe in the role of higher education and education in general in promoting economic development and security. Senator Hartley is from Waterbury, Connecticut, and uh, she represents our campus that's also a Waterbury. As many of you know, Waterbury was known as the brass capital of the United States. And they had very important roles in the manufacturing sector and the manufacturing revolution that occurred in the late 19th and early 20th century. But that city is also now evolving, evolving to better understand how they can capture innovations in cybersecurity. Having a major company like ESPN that's not very far away that uses information, she understands the power of telecommunication and also presence. And Senator Harvey serves as a chair of the Commerce Committee and has been a longtime advocate of cybersecurity innovation in the state. She's also one of the biggest supporters of the University of Connecticut and during the past 10 years has supported over $4 billion worth of projects for us to grow the university, to provide new research buildings, dormitories, as well as research programs to promote important aspects of a public education. So it's my great pleasure to introduce Senator Hartley. Thank you all, um, and what a pleasure it is to be here with you. So if the mic is shaking and my hands are shaking, it's not the coffee, it's the ride I just got through. Um, and hopefully none of you had to do that and you might have um, been with us since last night. Uh, so it's a pleasure to be here, and um, maybe I'll start by saying, so um, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. So before you all try to make an exit to the door, let me correct myself. Um, I am from the government. Uh, I am from the Connecticut General Assembly, but I am here to welcome you and to extend greetings uh, on behalf of my colleagues from the State Senate and the Connecticut House of Representatives. And I, of course, want to um, recognize and tip my hat to our host, the University of Connecticut, our flagship university here in the state of Connecticut, that, as you all know, have been pioneers on so many fronts not the least of which we are here gathered about today. Um, and, of course, their partner, um, a national leader, leader in communication um, and digital media who has partnered in many ways, Chase, the Chase Initiative, but of course, um, the CSI, the Center for Security Innovation today, which brings us together with CyberSea. And those of you who have participated previously um, we'll probably agree that it only gets better. It grows stronger and gets better. And so that's why you are all here. Um, so 
uh, as, as it, uh, I was introduced, I right now, having previously done higher education, but I'm now chairing the Commerce Committee um, in the state of Connecticut, and that deals with all things business, uh, supporting business, growing the talent um, and the skilled workforce pipeline, which this state is so recognized for. Um, and so we have, in the last year, um, also done our part and participated in this initiative that is cyber. Um, there were several legislative initiatives, one of which that came out of the Commerce Committee, um, to try to bring together uh, a platform, develop a blueprint in this state to bring everyone together, to take down the firewalls. In, in government, we have our own firewall, too. Um, but to take those down um, and to connect the dots, if you will, with academia, higher education, secondary education, elementary education, industry partners, government, public, and private. Um, and to then be a better place to grow and spawn the kinds of things that you're all about to do today. So without further ado, um, to all of you cyber Darth Vaders today, um, good luck. Uh, it's very exciting and um, I'm sure very rewarding as these two days will be. But uh, enjoy the university, the camaraderie. Please take in all of our Connecticut hospitality and come to cybersecurity again, but also come back to the state of Connecticut. Thank you all. Good luck. Thank you so much, Senator Hartley. I'm Rami Sekharad, I'm from Comcast, and it's great to be here on the second annual event of CyberSeed. And I just have a very short remark before I, I invite the rest of our leadership to the, uh, pan to the stage so that we could kickstart the the cyber seed competition and that is and this is my message to the students in this room you guys are the cyber guardian of our digital life that is growing every day this event and future events should really teach you how to bring that social responsibility with your digital knowledge to make our cyberspace more secure for all of us and this is not just industry talking I'm speaking on behalf of all of us, and I think I echo what the government is advocating, what the academia is advocating. This collaboration among the government, academia, and industry is key to our success in order to overcome the cybersecurity challenges that all of you know it's growing every day in such a monumental way. So with that in mind, I ask you to remember this event. I ask you to put on not just your technical hat, but also your social responsible hat on to say, how do I want to protect our infrastructure that my family is going to rely on in the future? How do I want to defend and protect my personal privacy as well as our collective privacy when it comes to the future that, that is in front of us? So, just keep that in mind. I wish you the best. I think it's going to be an exciting competition. The three competitions that we have today, one is Internet of Things, which is obviously is in line with the theme of our conference today. The other one is the, uh, it's the Capture the Flag, and I think you guys are going to find it really interesting this year. I don't know how many of you were here last year, but this year is going to be even more exciting. And of course, the social media aspect, which is also really speaks to what I just shared with you from a social angle of what we are here for. So with that, I'd like to actually invite the leadership up to the stage, Dean Kazerunian, Provost Choi, Professor Chandy, Prof Professor Michelle, Chuck Hudson, Eric Craig, and of course, our keynote, Bruce Schneer. Join me on the stage, and we have the ceremonial bell. All right, who's going first? Let's start with the provost. So with the ringing of the bell, I want the students to start getting ready because this is how and when we're gonna start the clock on the competition. And remember, I know we started late, but the people who are actually administrating the competition are going to give you that extra time. So don't worry, we, you did not lose any time. But let's go ahead and start the ringing of the bell. Here we go. 
Get ready, students. Pe pack up and get going to the next room where the competition is going to take place. All right, one, two, three, go. Up and down. Up and down. Thank <laughs> you.